Hey, what's going on, you guys? You know who it is. Sal Curry at AC Motorsport. Man, I'm so happy today. Um, I'm out here at the Hillsboro uh, Car Show. You know, we've been in lockdown for so long, and now all the car shows are back. Uh, this is what motivated me to uh, get into the, the car business. Um, I definitely am more excited when I sell a classic car or a high performance car, something like that. So uh, this is where my knowledge comes from and all my expertise being out here. Look at that. We're going to show you the Porsche. Got the nice, what is the 458 Ferrari? Black. It's got red guts too. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. So. I'm actually going to turn the camera around, let you guys see more of the cars and less of me today. It's a nice little Carmen Ghia going through there. Um, but yeah, I got to turn the camera around and let you see this uh, nice wide body Porsche. I've been asked to be able to a lot of cars. This is pretty clean. Uh, Looks like it's been gone through. It's got the nice, yeah, terrible steering wheel right there. Nice sport seats. I'm trying to get my 74 ready for Monterey this year for the Words reunion and also getting the 996 Rough Rider. Trying to get my stuff ready for uh, Monterey this year. This is a rare car. This is a Targa. Um, I forget what year Tito's got one of these, but uh, the Targa with the soft top. That's not rare. He's got the nice uh, sport seats in here. This is a beautiful car. I love this color right here. Then we got the Sunbeam yellow car right there. Nice. 73. So when you come in, I guess this is a Ferrari section. Ooh, well, I'm gonna get to the big stuff in a minute. The Dinos, man, early 90s. You could probably get these for about 50 grand. Now you can't touch them. Mm, Millie, 308. I love the 308. Uh, good value for money right now. You can get in the 360s. Uh, were, were at about 70, 80 grand. They left the building, so. Nice Dino here, 73. I mean, but this is it right here. 57 Testarossa. Only a few people have these cars. Uh, like John Mozart has one. Uh, Lawrence Stroll has one. Look at this. Uh, uh, I'm gonna lose my train of thought here, you guys, uh, throughout the video. Uh, several times, but uh, just bear with me. I mean, golly. It's like if, if you're a collector, you, you have to have a, a Cobra, a Shelby Cobra. I mean, the Viper. So check this Viper out. For my man Chidi right here, Dr. Chidi, Dr. Mbagu. This is a 94 Viper RT10. You gotta be a man to drive this car. This car will definitely get away from you. You have to know what you're doing. There's no ABS on this car. It's all about the driver. And you can get hurt. Second Franklin Templeton investment reward. That's closed. This car is in beautiful so condition. And this is a very unusual and wonderful choice. It's Just looks me. Super B. Check out Tesla. Still goes on. I mean, these cars are super rare. 
This is what it's about right here. You have the 250 GTOs, and then you probably have the uh, 57 Testarossas as far as the Holy Grail of Ferraris. I would probably take the GTO and then I would take this. The GTO, the styling on that is just my favorite, but it's Tessa Rosa right here. Okay, folks. Just a reminder. Tessa Rosa means red. I know it, but they have this. some this is a big the yellow. So we got all these awards. Let's hear it. Let's make sure everybody hears how much we appreciate these cars. It's a nice car. Thank Let's you, go Ron. show you the placard up front. Wow. It's the honorary yeah. judges trophy, and each year our Even out the awards, I should go over and check so that out. The knockoff, Baroni yeah. knockoffs, right that there. We feel really uh, it's a class in the field. This car number one five five is thirty two price. Yeah, that's hot. Larry, we're just gonna pan you guys. If I see something, I'll stop. This is a great value right here. You want a Ferrari? 150 thou might be able to grab this car Next for up is an award that, about uh, 80. They just had one that of these that went across auction at Mannheim. So if you go back today, and look Bob at and uh, some videos, you'll see Bob that uh, Fisher, I showed you guys one of these at auction. Beautiful 430. 1955 Oscar, nearly 100M. 430s were good money too. For a while, you could get into these cars at about 90, 100 grand. But now they're a little more than that. Thank you very much. We'll go back on the other side of the Ferraris over here in a minute. Because there is a lot of just classic Ferraris next to. Um, a lot of modern let's take a look at this one this is this is pretty historic in the history of ferrari so 49 i believe these are four cylinders um i'm not positive no nah, it's a pretty big bonnet in there that could be i know in the older days in the 40s they did run some four cylinders but i'd love to talk to the owner on this car and get more educated on this this is just absolutely look at that i mean and this is the perfect day the perfect environment to take these cars out uh i think we take for granted sometimes where we live and uh, that these cars They're are concentrated you need a luggage rack. concentrated a uh, on the west coast look at that lotus wow look at the paint on this this is absolutely beautiful you got a Ferrari race car challenge four, four five eight challenge Nice 89 Maserati. You know, uh, Got a little Austin Healy coming up. My dad likes Austin Healy. I'm going to have to cut through guys and uh, get to this. <laughs> Yellow hammer right here. Nice. Automatic, nice cruiser. Just come around this way. It's up to a nice Porsche, nice Aston Martin over here. Wow, 32. Low. Dumped and chopped. Look at that. That's that's this is what got me in the cars. As I tell you guys every time, local San Mateo guy. Yeah, that's nice. 68 Vantage mm, I gotta show you the shoe box over here so the Camaros and the shoe box Chevys are what got me into cars for a long time I was a 56 guy I'm more of a 55 guy 55 Chevy guy, but I do love the 56. This is a local car as well, Burlingame car. 
Beautiful. Look at the finish on this. This, this is nice. Oh man, and that Impala over there. I gotta get, and I love the Impalas. I mean, so the Camaros, the shoe boxes, and the Impalas is what got me in the car. So look at this Impala. Yeah, this is. We will start the class man, awards in just two minutes. Just look at the attention to detail and imagine the craftsmanship that went into making this car right here. The fins. Class, the all important this, class awards are coming this, up next. We have a the back team out with there the, uh, vigorously Impala working to emblem right make there. sure the field is this in the is right order. Absolutely, There's nothing that embarrasses beautiful. a master of ceremonies more than to send a long car. Can take master. your whole family to the show. Now, I, I set the morning uh, as an honorary judge. Does that mean or what? This part of the afternoon, this is straight I American graffiti right here. And I said, Is this because this is Man. this? I'm gonna Doesn't take you. Paycheck. It's got and the wheel wood brakes, so it's nice. The rest of the mod looks classic, okay. but I'll work for food. it's got all and the modern creature comforts. Wheel wood's probably the, the best upgrade you can yeah. get. Still do. That's just, oh, he's got a little handshaker in there. It's automatic, but look at that. The gold uh, and Impala there. This is one of my favorite cars right now of the show. Two Guys, these are good Ferraris for entry level uh, to get into the Ferrari market. It's got the gated shifter. Reasonably successful. You can probably grab one of these for sixty-five thousand. Three five five. It's a step up from the 348. Basically the same car. A little bit of bump and horsepower, but a little more refined than the 348. Our chairman reminded me that um, the Riker and it's electric a Ferrari. car, that was an electric car, the turn of the century car that just now, ooh, this is actually and the new Lucid, is really what I would want to get if I'm buying a Ferrari. 288. One of my colleagues in the motoring press introduced me to someone a few years ago and they said that well, I had reviewed the first electric car. 388 is a pretty said, rare car. Well, but I've been around for a while. Nonetheless, I, I didn't a little really bit step up from the, the first 308 as far as Actually, I, technology I was looks to say. Great car nonetheless. So I'm pretty lucky. I mean, I kind of geeked out a little bit, and uh, I lost, I lost Veronique. So I'm gonna try to find her. But uh, I gotta show you this Lotus right here. It's. Uh, I'm sorry, not looking at the camera, man. This. It's like I'm in overdose. Uh, the atmosphere is great. It's a sunny day. I mean, in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's just hard to to uh, beat the weather we have here. About 78 degrees. But uh, just getting ready for Monterey, which will be in August. So there is a 55 over there. We're going to go take a look. They also have a nice C5 Corvette. Oh, I got to turn the camera around because I keep uh, turning my head and not looking in the camera. Uh, and that's rude. So let me try to show you this Ferrari right there. So I'm going to turn the camera around, let you guys get a look. And uh, I'll try to find Veronique. What's up? We got my boy uh, Lee Nidell over there. Smiling Lee. We'll get back to the cars. We'll definitely live. Am I live? Look at Am I Lee. To you live? We'll definitely get back uh, to this 275. We'll look at the C5 in the car that got me in the car. It's the uh, 55 shoebox over there. My lady's worse than me. I'm calling her name and she can't even answer to me. Veronique. But look at that Trans Am right now. I'm trying to get a picture of that. I found Veronique. So we'll go around, walk, look at a few more cars. 
Look at this Bronco right here. That's hot. Nice Chrysler. Ooh, look at this. 300 Limited. I mean, that's a rare car right now. Not everyone's going to have that. For you Dodge Ram guys, there you go. Nice Dodge. Lifted. Functional. My oh boy Jerry Souza might like this. Ooh, he's got the Moto Guzzi on the back too. It's got Jerry Souza written all on it. Look at the color on this Corvette. Just absolutely beautiful with the uh, red interior. Hey, he gave him, me a little rev it up. He gave me a little tight, little quiet rev. Beautiful Corvette. The thing about Corvettes is. They all feel the same once you get behind the wheel. Guys, this is a Buick Roadmaster. I'm not too sure what year. It's a 49, but this was the top of the line car back then. The little wheel is the Jeep. There we go. 55 Bel Air. I will have one of these in my collection here pretty soon. I hope you like the McLarens. Nice. showed you uh, the 720, I believe it was, at auction last week. There you go. Uh, we're going to go back with the Fed, 63, splitty. Okay, guys, I'll tell you a story. So, when I was 20, I was a waterman for Black Mountain Water. Oh, the white Ferrari right there. I was a waterman for Black Mountain Water, and I delivered to this place that sold old hot rods. I had the opportunity to pick up a 63. It was a convertible. It wasn't the split window for $10,000. And I didn't want an old car. I had my grandmother uh, to co-sign for me. And I went with a Mustang SVO, which I did love that car. And I wish I still had it, but I wish I would have went with the 63 Corvette. Probably should give you a little bit more on the split window. So this is the only year. They call it a split window here. I love this design. Some people think that it's hard to see out the uh, back window. But like Mario Andretti said, if you're looking out your window, your back mirror, then you're going too slow. Uh, beautiful design on this. Uh, they do have a 63 Z06. I believe where it starts but really only rich guys like Roger Penske were, were running these just to, sh just to show you that we do take where we live for granted out here on the west coast this is three split window cars this is very rare these are very rare cars it's one year on the Corvette and there's three here at one show so that just shows you what kind of wealth is out here in the bay area it's ridiculous did you all go to the gym today if you went to the gym I got you wow i'm going to show you a porsche sc car. super carrera super carrera this motor is extremely expensive uh to build this is a fantastic car it's probably got maybe 100, 105 horsepower, but it's a momentum car. It's super light, 64, 356 SC. Doesn't get any better than this, 63. And this is what's called enduring style. You look at the new Mustang, you can see all the BMW. Smoking. They have to have 79. I'm going to show you guys another rare car. It's a 1968 Fiat Dino. The thing about this car is that it's got a lot of Ferrari uh, drivetrains. It's a Ferrari engine. And Dino, as you know, was Enzo's son. So, very rare car. Um, yeah, if you know, you know. Fiat owns Ferrari, and Enzo started racing with Fiat 
and running the race team at Fiat. So there's the connection to Fiat and Ferrari. You get this for my buddy Jean Paul. Beautiful color on this Challenger. Beautiful little Fiat. Remember we got these 74 through 84 in the States. Those were kind of the last Fiats uh, we had in the States until they came with the little one like Pistachio. Uh, this is nice. What is this? Oh, it's a Cortina. Yeah, little Cortina. Little Austin. Wow. 68 Central Rent. 68. Babe, how is this car pronounced? Al? Citroën. She's so soft spoken, except when she's yelling at me. <laughs> I just had to go to that. But we'll, we'll go to this. The 68 is uh, it's a beautiful car. So come read the sign for me. There you go. Uh, French is Veronique's native language. I should learn French. Look at the coach work inside here. I mean, come on. That's just beautiful. Top, the color combo. Uh, it's like a burgundy, burgundy, sheesh, probably Merlot or something like that. But when's the last time you've seen a BMW 3200 CS? You haven't. Because out of all of the car shows and all of the cars that I see weekly, this is the first time I've ever seen. It's got a handshaker there in the middle. Look at the coach work on this. That's beautiful. One thing BMW has never, ever lacked on is beautiful coach work. That's a beautiful car right there. So I was going to show you this Merc, but then just 959. Where do my loyalty lies? Am I a Merc guy? Or am I a uh, Mercedes Porsche guy? Uh, I got my Patrona shirt on. I see my brother over here. Kel Crane's over there. Uh, this your car, huh? Hey, buddy. You know you know, I noticed that. How you doing, brother? Let me uh, stop the camera. Let me say what's up to my buddy. Ooh, let me point out that Alfa Romeo. We will get back to that. Uh, because I'm going to have one of those. Oh, yeah, of course. This is one of uh, Cannabis cars, one of Bruce's cars. And so, if you don't know the story, he was very influential in getting these cars to the United States, uh, working with Bill Gates. Uh, Bill Gates, they say he bought like two or three or four, and they brought these cars to the state, and they crash test them. So they could get the info and get them, get them past uh, the safety testing. And so he brought these cars in and he's put them on track. Wow! Look at this guy's hot rod right here. This is a twin H power, beautiful car. This one, yours? <laughs> wow! Look at that. Come on, they don't make toys like this. Look at his coach work in here. Nice, hot steering wheel, the chrome. I'm an old guy, I still like the chrome. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for letting me see your car. <laughs> you know, so when you, when you get to the baller level, I mean, this is what you're showing at the show. Wow, that's nice. I don't know him enough. Yeah, I believe I here, sir. So, you know, you have Pierce Arrow, you have Duesenberg, Cadillac, and a few other guys. But those were those were the leaders, and those were the cars that you drove. That's a 32. What a beautiful car. Okay, I'm going to get up out of here, you guys. Let me just give you a quick shot of this 1964 MG. The coach work on this car is phenomenal. The color combo, he's got the Rudge uh, knockoffs on here. I mean... Look at this with the uh, back eight, luggage eight, rack. Eight, I mean, the smiles per miles. Look at his face. 
the smiles per miles on this car is incredible and very tastefully done. As you guys know, the electric cars actually make me throw up a little bit in my mouth. This is an 1896. This one does not make me throw up in my mouth. Beautiful car, very similar to the Mercedes. So Mercedes was before 1896. Beautiful coach work. This car, this That's great. 1896 Riker electric vehicle electric roadster let's show you this uh, 1949 Buick Roadmaster I wouldn't buy a Buick now they're not made in America they're actually made in not our ally country I'll leave it like that but back then Buick was a luxury car it's a luxury brand and the Roadmaster was a sign of success. So you could either buy a Cadillac or you bought a Buick. They said uh, the accountants, they bought Buicks. People who smart with their money. You got the traditional Buick portholes on here. You drove a Roadmaster, it uh, said that you had made it. Full chrome. Here's the central wind. Here. I'm going to grab Veronique. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, I'll do a outro on the way out, but I'll just try to pan and just give you guys a look. There's so many things I want to walk over and show you. Uh, they got the woodies over here. That was a car when I owned my repair shop. I wanted to see something. Let's go show you an Aston. I wish you had a Valkyrie out here. This Aston Martin is hot. Let's see. Stuffed in there. Uh, I almost bought a Aston Martin at auction. Uh, the one I showed you guys. You got the Rolls Royce here. W12. Let me show you what a W12 is. Look at that. Man, two six cylinders. Nice. Sold one of these. Nice 99 NXS. Let me give you this ZR1 right here. This is just hot. American made. Gorgeous car. It's the king of the hill right here. This car is still hard to beat. Over about 15 years later. They're super extremely fast. Grip up. Really good. Uh, it's got the big motor. Got the supercharger. Give you a look at that real fast. There you go. Nice carbon fiber. Let's give you a quick look at this 07 F430 Spider. This color is incredible. The red guts in there, sport seats. The roof is removable. I love it. Look at that. That double stitch. Ferrari uh, emblem right there. See the motor in the back. This is the right car. 246 DR. All over it. Big brakes. Vent to the front. It's a really nice car. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to shoot the outro. Uh, a little C250 right here. I got one of these for sale. Great cars. Great fuel economy. Fun to drive. Um, handle. They're just fun. So call me. Anybody want to get into a nice uh, C250? We do have a CLK 55. And really, I am going to wrap this up right here. This is a CLK 55. But uh, yeah, a lot of cars out here. Nice cars. The Hillsboro Car Show. Hillsboro Concourse. Delegate.
All right, you guys. I'm up out of here. It's your boy, Alfonso Relli. AC Motorsport.